Redwood Materials has emerged as the first company to create a closed-loop system in a meaningful way. Let's dive deeper and find out more about this company and opportunities it brings to the industry. This is your host Otis and you're watching Sustainable Truth. So let's do a quick recap of what Redwood Materials is and what they do. Redwood Materials is not a publicly traded company yet, but there are possibilities for the future. J.B. Straubel, a co-founder of Tesla, he stepped down from executive roles in Tesla in 2019 after 15 years on the job at the highest levels. So he is clearly very involved in Tesla and has contributed a lot. He started Redwood Materials with the mission to build a circular supply chain to power a sustainable world and accelerate the reduction of fossil fuels. This focus is critical to the future of transportation and electrical grid. JB can clearly see where the industry is heading, with tens of billions of dollars being invested in battery manufacturing as we speak. Everybody is desperate to produce batteries, but nobody is talking about end of life. That's where Redwood materials come in. They're focused on providing a full recycling cycle so that the recycled material would not be only half ready or useful only for refineries, etc. They are doing a closed loop system so that when batteries come in, they get recycled to a point where the materials recovered are ready to be used by cell manufacturers straight away. That means materials will be locally sourced for the producers. It will reduce the need of mining, overseas shipping, etc. Eventually, it will be a self-sustaining system. Of course, that is very long-term prospect. As for the foreseeable future, we need to mine much more to meet the demand. But nonetheless, I believe it's very important to create this closed-loop system so we are self-sufficient. Only then it will be a truly sustainable future. Unlike fossil fuels that we use up and then it's gone. With batteries, the materials will circulate around and will be mostly recoverable. We will need only little mining if the fleet and storage will be expanding further. Redwood Materials currently process about 8 to 10 gigawatt hours of material already this year. That's enough to make over 130,000 Tesla 75 kilowatt battery packs. So they are expanding this quite rapidly. Also, as the EV industry grows, recycling will have to grow at the same rate as manufacturing be it with the lag of 10 to 15 years or so depends on the average battery life. So basically as the years go by this will become a humongous sized industry and JB is looking really long term and is positioning himself in that space. I personally think this is a huge opportunity for the future as early pioneers of this industry will cement themselves in the lead. So by the time competition will cop on they will be years ahead. Same as happened with Tesla. So it's just like with lead acid batteries. Study finds that nearly 100% recycling rate for lead acid batteries. Battery Council International says lead batteries 99.3% recycling rate makes them the number one recycled consumer product in the US. The group say the near perfect rate of recycling is attributed to industry investment in a closed loop collection recycling system that keeps 1.7 million tons of batteries out of landfills annually. So the exactly the same thing will be done with EV batteries also. Companies like Redwood Materials are investing into this infrastructure early to create the closed loop system needed to replicate the same results as with lead acid batteries. Guys, thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoy, hit like and subscribe. It helps you to promote this content. I want to provide value to as many as I can, so this helps a lot. Any thoughts or feedback would be much appreciated in the comments below. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next one.